Creating Blackboard Groups with the Self-Enroll Sign-Up Sheets option. Blackboard's self-enrollment groups allow students to use a sign-up sheet in order to join a group themselves. You can make sign-up sheets available to students on the Groups page or by adding a link to the course menu, or from within a content area such as Resources. This can be used for presentation slot signups or for group assignment signups. In this video, we will be discussing creating a group with a sign-up sheet, making the sign-up sheet available to students from the course menu, what students will see, and making a link to the group set within a content area. Creating a group. To create a group with self-enrollment options, complete the following steps. Ensure your edit mode is on, in the control panel for the course site, under Users and Groups, select Groups. On the Groups page, click the action bar Create, Self-Enroll, under a single group for one group only, or Create, Self-Enroll, under Group Set, to create a set of groups. On the Create Self-Enrollment Group page, enter a name, such as Group A, and add an optional description. To make the group visible to students, select the Yes radio button. Check the tools you want the group to use and grades possible where applicable, such as for blogs, journals, or wikis. From the Sign Up Options area, enter a sign up sheet name and instructions under the description area. Enter the maximum number of members. Show members options allows users to see the group members before they sign up. You can check or uncheck it as per your requirements. Optionally, under group options, select the checkbox for create smart view for the group. A smart view is a focused look in the grade center to quickly find data such as the grades for members of this group only. Remember to access manage Smart Views from the Full Grade Center to select the groups as a favorite if you want them to also appear on the submenu for the Grade Center. Click Submit to complete. Making the sign-up sheet available to students from the course menu. To make the group sign-up sheets available to the students, do the following. At the top of the course menu, click on the plus icon. Select Tool Link. Select Groups. Add a name such as Group Project Signup. Click the option for Available to Users. Click Submit to Complete. Drag the new menu item to the location you wish on the course menu. You can always modify groups, membership options, and tool choices by hovering over the group name from the Users and Groups, Groups, which will reveal the Edit option menu. When the students click on this link from the main menu, they will see the title of the group set, if more than one self-enrolled group was created, the description you entered, and a link to select to view sign-up sheet to join a group. After clicking that button, the students will see the various groups, description of the group, existing members, so they can see who members of that group are already before they sign up, if you selected that option, the maximum members to be allowed, and a button to sign up. Making a link to the group set within a content area. If you wish to have students access the self-enrolled groups from within a content area, such as resources, follow these steps. Note, you can create a new content area on your course menu. Instead of picking tool link from the plus, choose the first option, content area, and name it appropriately. Once you're in the content area, click the Tools button from the Action menu. Select Groups. A link can connect to the group's listings page where all the groups are listed, or to an existing group or group set, or a new group or group set can be created and linked from this location. Individual groups should be used cautiously, since not all users may be assigned to the group. Once the link has been established in a content area, the options will appear to the student as above, but from within the chosen content area. In summary, in this video, we discussed how to create self-enroll groups, how to make sign-up sheets available to students from the course menu, what students will see, and making a link to the group set within a content area. 
For more information on using Blackboard at the University of Windsor, visit the online self-help pages at uwindsor.ca forward slash blackboard.